Bulgarian split squat, or otherwise known as the rear foot elevated split squat. Now, I just did a body weight version, but I also showed my hands on my side, that would be if I was holding dumbbells. I'm also going to show you a band. So, let me just break this down for you. First thing you want to do is obviously raise the rear foot, okay? Uh, as far as height is concerned, it's going to be obviously depending on what you have available. If you've got um, an exercise box or a bench, couch, ottoman, uh, that's going to be pretty much your, your height. Um, with the exception of the box, if it's one of those boxes that I recommend where you can actually get three different heights out of it, you might start with the lowest setting and work your way up. Now, you don't want to go too high. You know, you can start off pretty low. You can start off an old school Reebok step, just a couple inches off the ground and work your way up. Eventually getting to the point where your bar is going to be probably about the height of your knee. Because what that will allow you to do is get full stretch and like all the way down now. Right, so this would be a good setup right here. I've got this knee directly over the ankle, so I'm gonna in a good position here. I'm sitting back, I've got this hip over this knee. So I've got a 90 degree here. Uh, and obviously I don't have a 90 degree here. If this foot was on the ground, it would be 90. So I'm in a true split squat position. I've got this foot up on the bar here. I'm using a pad just on the instep of the foot. Just, it feels a lot better. So this is gonna be my position, and I'm gonna drive through this front foot. I'm really trying to use as much of the front leg as possible. Okay, now it's impossible to go fully 100%, but I really want to do as much as I possibly can because the driver of this is going to be, in this case, the left glute, okay, and the thigh. Okay, so you got your quads and your hamstrings, but really focusing heavily on the glute, especially with a lean back versus a lean forward. Okay, so from here, I can have no weight, hands wherever you want them. I could have the dumbbells in my hands or kettlebells in my hands. I could do a goblet style position, which does help you keep a more upright posture. And here I go. Now I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm just gonna go down to just above the ground, an inch or so, and back up. What I don't wanna see is people going with a high back end Right, so for example, at the club, you're going to use this bar if you can do rear foot elevated, right? And it's there to set height. You obviously can't adjust it if you're at home and you have a, a couch or a bench or an ottoman that you're using. You don't want to see people doing this. I've got my foot up and now I'm doing like half of a repetition, right? If that's the case, use a box so you can set it at a lower height or just go to a regular split squat. Doing a rear foot elevated half repetition is not nearly as good as doing a both feet on the floor, traditional split squat, full repetition. So just keep that in mind. Last thing I wanna show you is if I'm using a band, resistance band, okay? Generally the way I'm gonna set it up is with the front squat position. So stepping on the band midfoot, coming up into that front squat position, you can hold the band. I like to take my hands out and then just go here, okay? If you're comfortable, with your wrists, you can certainly just keep it here. I just don't like that position. I like to be here. Lift the elbows up. It creates a better posture, especially on the way up, because I can kind of push the elbows up to lift me up. So I'm here, and then drive through. And drive through. That traditionally works the best for the band stuff. Now, if you're going real heavy, you might go with the sash set up, and I really, I should have done that. I should do it the proper way, because this is obviously a light band. So if I have a real heavy band, I wouldn't be able to do that. What I do is I just create it this way, kind of a sash, right, this diagonal, and I step onto the band, because no matter how heavy the band is, I can push a little bit of tension down, and I can step onto the band. Now I'm in a position that I'm hands-free, right, maybe better for balance, and I can do my rear foot elevated or full area split squat. I like this version a lot if I'm using to be doing a heavier variation of the exercise. Alright, and those are Bulgarian split squats.